Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing a demonstration of how to install EDS file. EDS stands for Electronic Data Sheet. It's basically a configuration slash driver for industrial equipment. So that's how I do. That's how I define EDS. But if you have other definition, please leave a comment in below. So uh, the engineering platform we'll be using is. Uh, Schneider Electric's uh, Control Expert. It's an engineering tool for uh, the Modicon PLC such as M580. And the EDS file we'll be downloading will be for Alan Bradley's PowerFlex uh, 753 VFD driver. So um, I'm going to start my Control Expert here. Uh, VFD stands for Variable Frequency Drive. Uh, like for Variable frequency drive actually supplies uh, higher AC voltage. Um, in, in, I'm from Canada. Uh, my outlet produces, uh, or I guess in America, the outlet power is 110 AC. So um, industrial equipment sometimes require upwards of 400 AC. So you use VFD to actually um, supply power or voltage to these devices. Anyway, let's get started. So we're going to select a we, we've started a new project. I'm going to use, uh, say, for example, 6040 hot standby CPU. I'm going to click OK. So uh, basically, it's going to create a project for you with all the appropriate uh, back panel and whatnot. Over here, I'm just going to say no. I'm not going to put password. I'm going to make things easy. So um, if you go if you go to tools and you go to, say, where's a DMT browser here. And if you go right click and you go add, this is how you add a uh, PowerFlex uh, 753. You'll realize that there's no uh, uh, PowerFlex 753 in this list here. Uh, let's see here. They're in alphabetical order. Upside down, PowerFlex 700. Uh, 700. There's no 753, as you can see. So now we're going to go ahead and install uh, uh, the EDS file. But before you do that, before you do that, right, you're going to have to download the uh, EDS file from Alan Bradley's website. Uh, you go ab.com, right? You go download, and then you go electronic data sheet. Okay. Um, instead of going this way, let's try the other way. Um, if you Google it, I think it'll be faster. So it's a EDS, EDS, uh, PowerFlex 753, just like that. Find file, download here. There you go. Comes up really quickly. Uh, this is, is the VFD we're after, PowerFlex 753. You click this icon here, EDS file. Download, download now, direct download, download. Okay, show folder. So it's going to download here in this directory itself. So right here. So uh, we're going to have to navigate here. So I'm done with this guy here. We're going to have to navigate down here. Uh, so I'm going to right click this, copy, and you're going to go to uh, device menu, uh, additional function, add EDS file, next. So here you might want to select uh, all directories because if you look at your PowerFlex here, we have installed it here, right? So there's control net, device net, and all that stuff in here. So some of the devices, uh, some of the files might not be applicable to uh, this control expert. Um, so they will give you, they will issue an error message here. So if you go right click this guy again, device menu, additional function, EDS here. Um, oh, you already have it open here. So all directory. And you want to say look into the subfolder, go browse, uh, it was in download, and it was here, right? And this is the directory that we're going to select. Select next. So 
So like I said, it produces a bunch of errors, but in general, all the EDS file that's applicable to you uh, will be downloaded or installed. Right? We are after 1.1. 1 .1. 1.1 they are here right so which is good and support a couple of more additional error so hit next here um, don't hit cancel here <laughs> if you hit cancel it will not work you have to hit finish now it applied so right now if you go right click and you go add that driver will not be there that's just for the sake of demonstration let's go have a look at it let's see power of like 700 they are not there right so uh, in order to get your uh, get your files in there, what you have to do is uh, go tools, then you go hardware catalog. You have to do that first before you get there. Then you go DTM catalog here, and you hit update. Okay, this one will take a bit of time to do it. Yes, just bear with me here. 